this is Dion Gleaton with the Times and Democrat, and I'm here with Ms. Barbara Troy. She's the long-term executive director of the Cooperative Church Ministries of Orangeburg. And I'm just gonna get Ms. Troy to talk a little bit about the importance of the community support over 35 years. The group is celebrating their 35th anniversary this year. And just let Ms. Troy expound on the importance of the community support and where she hopes to take the organization in the future. First of all, um, I would like to thank the community for supporting us with their finances, food, and other important items that our um, clients need. Without the community, without the churches, without the sororities, without the businesses, organizations, a lot of individuals, we would not be able to survive. Um, I pray, I'm reaching my retirement, fully retirement, because I'm 84 years old, and I'm also a caretaker for my husband, and I think I need to spend my latter years spreading love, but more at home. I enjoy what I do. I thank everyone. Everybody has been so nice. The clients, amazing. Uh, we, we've had clients, they are so appreciative. And they will say, thank you. And I love you. Mm -hmm. Now, if we have one come in kind of out of sorts, because life will put you out of sorts sometimes because of the struggles that you have to go. And a lot of people are struggling financially. Um, but before, when they get in here, we try to, everybody try to be calm and peaceful and show love toward each other. The only thing that I'm concerned about is the future of CCMO. Because all of our volunteers are retirees. And eventually, they want to fully retire also and enjoy their latter years. So I'm asking for the community, especially our younger people that maybe just retired, if you could give us a couple of hours, at least two or three hours once a week, but mostly three times a week. Um, so that's what I'm concerned about. 